All right, so in this example, we're gonna talk about parallel force systems. All the forces are acting in a single direction. Here you can see that we have three forces, F1, F2, F3, all acting strictly in the Y direction. They are on a beam, just loaded on a beam in one direction. Okay, so for this example, to find the resultant, all we need to do is directly add up the three forces, F1, F2, and F3 add directly up to the resultant. Then we have to write an equation, the sum of the moments about O, okay? Just pick one of the pinpoints here, there, okay? And we say that R, the resultant, times X bar. Normally X bar is written like this, okay? Um, is equal to F1 times X1, plus F2 times X2, plus F3 times X3, okay? So you're gonna take this part of the equation, and you know everything except X bar, so you'll solve it for X bar, all right? Okay, so looking at this, we say that in general, R is equal to the sum of the forces in the Y direction, and X bar, is equal to the sum of the moments divided by R. Now you'll notice this R is going to be a negative number. Okay? The sum of the moments, you need to keep track of the sign, whether it's positive or negative. So if we look at this, we see for this one, we would have X bar is equal to F1 times x1, which is going to be a negative number. That's a clockwise moment, about O. Alright, that's going to tend to go this way. Alright, that's a negative number, so we put a negative sign. And then we need the F2 times x2, and that's going to be a negative number. And then we have F3 times X3, and that is going to be a negative number. All right, then R is also going to be a negative number, okay? Because R is really a negative F1 plus a negative F2 plus a negative F3. So you're going to have a negative number on top divided by a negative number on bottom. All right, let's try to work this example. So we're going to say X bar is equal to the sum of the moments around A, okay? Divided by the resultant R. So as I plug that in, that is a 25 pound force times, what's the distance there? It's zero. So that one's not going to contribute. All right. And then we have 15 pounds times three feet. That's a negative moment. That's going to tend to cause a rotation in this direction. All right. Then we're going to have a 10 pound force. It's pushing up, okay? And it is going to be positive moment. It's gonna to tend to cause a rotation in this direction. So that will be plus 10 pounds times 
six feet plus three feet, nine feet. All right, then the last one is the 20 pound force. All right, and that is 20 pounds times nine feet plus another five feet, that's 14 feet. All right, and that is also going to be clockwise moment, and so that's going to be a negative number. All right, all of that is divided by R, which is 25 pounds, that's negative, minus 15 pounds, that one's also negative, plus 10 pounds, And then the last one is going to be minus 20 pounds. Okay, so right now let's plug into my calculator and see what I get. Okay, this number isn't going to be there. Okay, and then I'm going to pause this and plug some numbers into the calculator and be right back. Now when I plug this in on the top, I get a negative 235, that's pounds, multiplied by feet. All that divided by a negative 50 pounds. Okay, so now my negatives are going to cancel. My pounds are going to cancel. All right, and when I do the math, x bar is equal to 4 point seven feet and that's my final answer